Okay, so we have a short modification video for you today. So this is the uh, Benchmade 533 Mini Bug Out, <coughs> which this model is with the CPM 30V in the Highland Green. And as you can see, it came with these, I assume they wanted to be copper, but they look very orangey, thumb stud and back spacers. So I have a set here that I ordered in copper um, from Triple uh, X Adrenaline Triple X. I don't know how he pronounces that, but Adrian. And you can see they're a little bit more darker, a little bit more muted. Um, so I've been looking forward to replacing these. Not quite as poppy and toy, um, toy like. <clears throat> so. We're going to go down quick. I also did get this uh, uh, bug out uh, pivot tool. So I'm hoping that this allows us to slide in and hold the pivot all together while we do our change out. So we'll see how that works. Um, anyway, so we're going to take it down close and take a look at it. All right. Okay, so we got it apart and cleaned up. This is working pretty well, keeping everything there, so I'm not gonna have to redo the washers and deal with all that headache, so that should make things pretty easy. So we're gonna go ahead and install these, put her all back together. I think I got it pretty well cleaned up. I think the only part I still need to clean is the pivot. I don't see any Loctite on this at all, which is good. I believe this is a T10 on the pivot, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Six, eight, of course it's every one but one I have, so there's the 10. A little mix up on that, because when I first started, I was trying to work it with an eight. All right, so, so far so good, fairly painless. So we'll go back down. Okay, there we have it. I am not going to lie, that turned into a heck of a lot bigger mess than I thought it would. Everything went really well until time to put it back together. The hope was is that that pivot tool would keep everything together through the cleanup and the disassembly, which it did an excellent job of that. Unfortunately, getting the actual pivot back into slide in to take it play take its place just really didn't work well and what I realized which I probably should have done while the pivot tool was in there is I um, so that was pushed in from that direction okay so what I should have done was loosened up uh, the liners here because I think I was binding the liner and the the um, FRN here just weren't lined up just right and it was just catching on that liner. So as soon as I loosed it, in goes the pivot. So anyway, live and learn a little bit of practice with it. I mean, it certainly worked great up until that point. Um, but unfortunately, then I had to f disassemble, take off that side and build it back like a pancake or like building a sandwich is how I've heard it described. So anyway, I have the replacement, the... Um, anodized titanium uh, in this copper. I will say it's definitely, if my goal here was to go muted and not as quite as bright and poppy, well, that is certainly what I got. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if I like it more. I, the, the orange was really came across a bit obnoxious to me, um, but 
you know, when I compare that, you know, it, I don't know, maybe I wanted this bronze to kick a little bit better. No, I still like it better than that. That's so kind of toy-like. It just really almost bothers me. I think this is looks much more subtle. So anyway, there you have it. Um, took a little bit. I was able to get it nicely centered back. I was hoping since it was in such perfectly centered that if I didn't have to disassemble the um, the actual axis lock, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But unfortunately, I did. Um, I did manage to um, try to at least remember all my lubing when I had it apart, although I think I really only got one side of those washers, so probably help to go ahead and get a little bit of lube in there. Um, and then maybe a little bit of lube on my actual axis lock. Which I found helps if you put a little lube on each side here on the track just to get it running nice and smoothly. Oh yeah. Drops nicely. So there you have it. Anyway, that took a lot longer than it should, and I apologize, and I will try and edit it to speed up that part as much as possible. Thank you for joining me. I did have the oversized uh, washers, but honestly, unlike the full-size bug out, this really doesn't have any side-to-side -side play, so I just didn't see the point um, so far. I may have to loosen that just, well, not really, maybe just a hair. It certainly drops fast enough, doesn't it? Opens up, spidey. Yeah, I don't think you can beat that. Looking good. All right. Thank you all. Take care.